Your good afternoon, YouTube. It is October 26, 2024, and we are at week four of the Top Step 50K Combine Challenge. And week four didn't end so well. <laughs> I was close, man. I was real close. I was real close. I got to the high of 52, 230 going into Thursday. And Thursday, I just completely tilted. I completely tilted. I was, well, one, blew the, blew the account in one day. But just went on a bad tilt, man. That's it. Went on a tilt. I was very focused on trying to reach that last little bit that was left with one trade. Um, and also, after doing some reflecting on on how I performed Thursday, I also realized that my my mental state, the approach was different going into going into Thursday, and don't know if that actually had big of an impact on my trading itself. I mean, I think it did, but uh, normally I've I've always mirrored my live account trades. I start from trading view monitor for what I would be taking on my live account and then copy the same trade onto the top step account. But Thursday was different. Thursday I went straight into the top step account. Seeing that I was at 52.230 going into Thursday, I was it, it shifted my thinking immediately into just trying to catch that one trade. Trying to, to, to bang this last little bit with a, uh, a one bullet. And it didn't work out. <laughs> it did not work out. I was risking 500 going into the day, five micros on NQ, and it just didn't work out so well. Blew the account. Also went. Also had my first red day on my live account because of that. So yeah, that's 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 just what that's just what happened. That's just it is what it is. But there are some good. Good takeaways to take out of the out of the four weeks that I traded the combine though. Um, one is like my times, which are really big for me. Over the four weeks, I realized that my higher time frame trades perform way better than my lower time frame trades when I'm trying to trade at work. Anything below the five minute, I'm at fucking forty percent. Though, though those length of of time held for the trades are between five and ten minutes, win rate was around forty. The low forty percent was like forty one, forty two. Um, but any trades that I executed on the five to fifteen minute, and the duration for those trades were anywhere from uh, fifteen minutes to thirty minutes, and anywhere from thirty minutes to an hour. The trades between fifteen and thirty minutes uh, were in the low sixties for the win rate percentage, and my trades that lasted longer than 30 minutes between an hour were almost damn near 100% win rate. So that, that was one thing. The second thing was my most profitable weekdays. My most profitable weekdays are mo Wednesday through Friday. My least profitable days are, uh, my least profitable weekday is Monday itself. Um, normally I don't have an issue trading Mondays, but I do know just based off of the data that I have uh, from my journal that Monday for me as a performance, is, is always more 50-50. I, I have red days. I have I have green days. Um, but I'm not mad at all at, at what happened. Uh, luckily, it was rebuild day, and I wasn't even aware of it. So we get to go again. Um, definitely no, uh, not going to be opening up the Top Step account first. Going to continue to maintain the same approach that I have with my live account. Um and we will look to continue going forward, continue moving forward. The goal remains the same. It is to obtain this 50K express funded account with Top Step. And it is to do it in the way I know that is possible. And that is with my base hit approach, mirror, mirroring the trades that I'm taking on my live account, and letting, letting time do its thing. That's it. Focusing on one trade at a time, only only managing things that are in, in my control, and continue to ball out.
So uh, we'll go over some of the trades that I took on the weekday, though, going into Thursday's uh, blow up. Uh, Monday was really nice. ES, I took a 15-minute inversion play. We had SMT on the lows. We also had a sell side, uh, an internal sell side raid. And then we had this candle right here. I, want, I believe it was the 845 candle with the closure above this bearish FEG. I went ahead and I entered at the 9 a.m. 15-minute candle opening, targeting the nearest buy side, which was right here. Gets tagged uh, 30 minutes later. I believe that was the opening bell, if I'm not mistaken. So that was a nice little trade there. Then we have Tuesday. Tuesday was on MNQ. We took a nice five-minute inversion FEG play. We had the sell side run on the lows here, a little bit of a little bit of accumulation, and then with the opening bell, we wicked lower, filling in the FEG, and traded into this five-minute bullish order block and closed above both of both of those bullish arrays, followed by the 9:35 candle. Closing above that bearish FEG, confirming the inversion. So I went ahead and I entered at the open of the 940 candle, just looking for London buy side, which is over here, which TP hits uh, five, ten minutes later. And then Friday, we ended Friday off on the new account, which I'll show you real quick for the reset. So, new account for the reset because of rebuild day being Thursday. Uh, Friday was just one trade that we took. One trade on ES. Let's go to the chart. And this was just another inversion play. Price was showing me bullish characteristics going into the New York session. So... Going into the New York Open, we had a sell side run, filling of this bullish FUG, as well as trading into this bullish order block there. Price action was showing me bullish, bullish characteristics, so I was looking at a New York, a New York, a New York bullish session. Then we had the 7:30 close above this bearish FUG, so that's my inversion. I went ahead and I executed at 7:45, and then uh, previous day's high was my target which gets taken out here with the opening bell candle. And that was my one bullet for the day. Took that on my live account first and then went to take it on the top step account just to get get back in the groove. So, yeah, that's it. We look to continue. Uh, again, my takeaways from the four weeks that I had on the, on the, on the 50K combine, profitable weekdays, my profitable, uh, not my profitable, but the looking at the duration of time held for my trades and seeing where the win rates are in between each one and just confirming that I am way better off when I'm trading from work I'm just way better off sticking to the 5 and 15 minute leaving it at that no need to no need to fix what ain't broken so even though I blew the account it doesn't define me as a trader baby I'm still a great trader, and I know it. And I just got to continue and maintain and stay diligent with my dis with my discipline on performing to the best of my ability day in and day out. Giving myself a check up from the neck up. Reminding myself of the rules that I haven't set. That are set for a reason. And just let the process do its thing, man. So, I'll talk to you guys next week. I am out of here.